and rock your body right. And today we're going to do some Pilates intervals. So low impact Pilates start exercises, and we're going to do them for 45 seconds, have a rest for 15. We've got five exercises and we're going to do it twice. So let's get warm by just getting mobile. Start my clock. So roll your shoulders forwards. Feet about hip distance apart. And just have a look down at your feet. Make sure the toes aren't gripping the floor. They should be nice and relaxed. Good. And then roll your shoulders back. Nice. So all low impact options, all moves that we do in my Pilates classes, and all will be felt, I promise. Right, now just go in and out with the arms, just really gently, and then just leave these shoulder blades apart at the front in here when the arms are at the front, and then squeeze them together at the back. Good, just getting that body involved as well. Nice. Okay, I'm going to show you the first exercise. What you're going to do is squat down, you have your feet a little bit closer to start. Squat down, push your bottom back. Now standing on your left leg, you are going to tap the right foot forward and then all the way around into a little circle. So tap forward, all the way around. Now at any point if you need a rest, you just come up and then you squat back down and get back into the movement. So it's tap forward, all the way around. This foot here, is in, this leg here is in a squat. You push your weight back into your heels, and I will start the timer now. So we're gonna stick with one leg for the first round, and we'll do the next leg in the second round. Get ready, four, three, two, one. Squat down, tap. So it's the right foot that's moving this time. Make sure you can wiggle the toes of your left foot. So it's a tap forward and a circle round. So we're really working this standing leg, that squatting leg. Guys, if your balance is a little bit wobbly, don't worry about holding on. You can just put your hand against a wall, all the way around. Now push your bottom back on this squatting leg. So this leg should be feeling it. If you need a little rest, come up and go back down again. Good. Now just keep that chest up towards me, arms out slightly in front like me, my hands out front. Good. And stop. Right, now a different exercise. You have your hands together in this prayer position with your elbows up in line with your chest and your shoulders. And we're just going to pulse up. Now you try and keep your elbows close together. Go. Up. Now this one. Simple to start with, but you tell me, are you feeling it? Now make sure you keep breathing. Feet about hip distance apart again. Make sure you're not gripping the floor with your toes. Now just make sure you don't drop your chin to your chest. Let's keep that neck in a normal position. So head forward, looking through the forearms. Pulse. Now try and keep these elbows together. Yeah, so you can't see my face. And then keep pulsing, how does that feel? Nearly there. Good, right, now lay on your backs. Maybe it's getting a bit warmer for you as well. Right, lay on your backs. What we're gonna do here, guys, is do a bridge with both feet, then one leg comes up and scissors up and down. Okay, go. If you're happy with that one, Come up, lift the right leg up, and then move the right leg and stick with that. If that's too much, guys, stick with both feet up and hold up, and then every so often you could try and lift one leg up, and then come down, but otherwise stick with that pulse there. So you're squeezing the butt cheek of this left leg, getting a bit of a lift, pointing the toe of the right foot, and making sure you're not gripping the floor with your left toes. You've only got eight seconds. Stay with it. Good. Good, okay. Right, then you're in a plank position here. So on your hands and toes, we're gonna go from flat plank position to push your bottom up and tap your opposite knee. Okay, like this. 
Get ready, go. So tap and come back to plank. Tap, come back to plank. Tap, the bottom goes up, back. If you need a little rest, guys, you can rest in a plank here or come down to your knees. Try and rest in one of these positions rather than stopping completely. Come forwards, come forwards. So when you come forwards into this plank position, try not to dip the hips too low. A plank is really parallel to the floor, your whole body. So try and keep yourself straight. And also, tuck your pelvis in, so your core muscles get that more work there. Nearly there. Okay, exercise number five, and then we're gonna repeat all of them, is a V-sit and twist. So sit right on your sit bones, so sweep the flesh of your bottom back. You come back like this, one elbow goes down, you look that way, and then you go to the other side. So go ahead, guys. So you lean back, you twist. See how far you can go. Now, just go as far as you can where you feel it. Don't push it any further. Hopefully with a few more reps after a little while you start to feel it. A bit more. Now pull up those pelvic floors when you're doing this move too. So the elbow goes back. You twist. Your chest faces towards that twist. And hopefully your tummy muscles are doing some work. Good. Breathe. Good. Right, now we repeat the whole lot. So we're going to go squat. Hold in the squat with your left leg and tap all the way around. Sorry, with your right leg down and your left leg is tapping this time. Get ready. Two, one, squat, tap all the way around. Tap all the way around. So you either hold this squat the whole time or you come up every so often. Okay, just to have a little stretch out. Make sure you're not gripping the floor with your right toes. How does that feel, guys? It's quite an intense one, this one. So all the way, round, tap, round, tap, round, good. <clears throat> Stay with it, You're nearly there. You've got about seven seconds. Push the weight back into the heel of that right leg. Good, right now I'm gonna do the crow pulses. So elbows close, palms together, and we pulse up and down. Now try and squeeze all of this together to make it work. Okay, up and down. Now lift as high as you can, but with your palms and elbows still together. And breathe. Straighten out the back of the neck. So you're facing between your forearms. How does that feel? This is great for lovely shoulders. Are you getting warm, guys? Elbows close. It's tempting at this point, isn't it, to spread those elbows apart. Oh, good, well done. Right, come down. We're going to do a single leg bridge with the leg pulsing up and down. So on your back, it's the right foot on the floor and the left foot up this time. So when the bell goes, okay, lift, and then point that toe up and down. So you're really pushing down into the heel of your right foot, and you've got a solid base there. And remember guys, you can have a rest every so often if you need to, just come down. And if you want to just hold the double leg, you can. And let's try and get some focused breathing here. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. Hang on in there, you are so close to finishing. A few more seconds. Yes. Okay. Now we turn over. We're doing that touch. Down dog plank, really. So we go plank, down dog position, and tap the knee. Ready? Three, two, 
one. Now try and get your shoulders right over the wrists when you come down into your plank. There's no rush here, it doesn't have to be fast. And alternate the hands. Remember if you're too tired to do the move, hold the plank either on your toes or on your knees like this, okay? And then you can come back to it if you want to. One more exercise after this one. Good work guys. Keep going, just a couple more. Good, okay, we finish with those B-sits where we go back with the elbow and we twist. Okay, chest up, arms forward with your thumbs up. Get ready. Two, one. Come back, twist. So now you know what you're doing on this one. Maybe you can go a little bit further back. Pull up those pelvic floors. So suck up. Imagine you're stopping any wee coming out. That's really the best way to describe pulling up your pelvic floors. Good. And keep going. Last exercise here, then we'll have a little stretch out. Stay with it, that elbow sweeping back. Good. Any shakes at all in the belly now? I'm getting a little bit shaky. Nice! Right, we're done with those, well done. So lay on the floor, just gonna stop that belly from going. Lay on your back and stretch out your toes and your arms. All the way up, just stretch the belly, straighten those legs. Good. Okay, just bend the knees up, tee your arms, so that just means just get them out wide, knees over to one side. Breathe. And then the other side. Nice, so you should feel this maybe down the side, around the ribs here, maybe around the bottom and the legs. Knees come back up and just use one knee to help you swing up. Good, and then slowly come to standing. Head comes up last. Just reach your arms forwards. Head down slightly here. And then reach your arms up. And then back. So please comment below and let me know which one you liked, which one was a challenge, were they all a challenge? Let me know if you found that that was a workout for you and I hope you felt like you rock your body there, guys. So well done, I will see you on the next one.